Hello everybody and welcome back to reality. Today we're going to be continuing my series of world edit features in vanilla Minecraft. This episode we are doing the fill command. Now the fill command is already in Minecraft, but it isn't really useful in a lot of situations. Like for example, if you wanted to fill something like this shape in, it's not going to be very useful because it doesn't, it doesn't really fill in until it hits edges, like filling in the whole area like a world edit fill would. It just fills in your selected region. So what I've set up here, all you have to do is just click with a mob named fill wherever you want your fill to be and it'll fill in your area to the edges really quickly with any block type you want. In this case, iron blocks. It can cause quite a bit of lag with large shapes like this one, even on powerful computers. And you see, you can do extremely, extremely big things like this and it will still work. But as you can see, it will get pretty jumpy and kind of jittery there. And it will still work, but yeah, like I said, it can cause a lot of bit of lag. And I have set up limits though because I don't want some person just to come here and like click out here because then it would just start filling essentially forever and it would kind of kill your world. Those are pretty easy to change and I'll show you guys those in a second but the whole concept is pretty simple. It only takes 17 commands and a lot of them are the same command or just slightly modified versions of the same command. So with that let's dive into the redstone. So first you're going to want to create an objective called fill. After that, as always, get your fill clock running with these two commands. Once you have that, the first thing you need to do is have any entity named fill, which is how it works. Create an armor stand named fill stand with these data tags to hide it from the player. As of 1.8.3 though, the marker tag isn't going to work for whatever reason, so remove it if you're playing in 1.8.3. After that runs, you want to get the closest player fill score of 1. We're going to use this to, to kind of manipulate our safeguards, which we will explain later. Immediately after that, you want to kill the entity named fill so it doesn't spawn any more armor stands. Once you have that, you want it to do an execute detect for each direction to test for error. If it finds it, it'll create an armor stand in that direction. You need a command block to place a block where each fill stand is after its block is still air, or if its block is still air, because that is you know how it fills in the area. You can have just one on the end, but that can cause a lot of lags. It'll start duplicating armor stands, so you'll get a lot more in one spot, and that can cause a ton of lag. Which is why I have several of these, so it'll after each armor stand in any direction, it'll put stone there, so there won't ever be more than one armor stand in a block. Make sure the last sub block command replaces your placeholder block, in this case stone with the block you want to use. After all those commands, you want to add one to the fill score of any entity named fill stand. And after that, we're going to kill any entities with a fill score of two. That way, any fill stand will have two ticks alive, one to duplicate themselves and one to do a set block before they're killed. After that, we have our safeguards. The first thing we do is constantly add 1 to any player whose fill score is at least 1. Then we have any player with a fill score 50 kill any fill stands. You can make this number lower or higher to change how long the safeguard lasts. Finally, we're going to set any player whose score of fill is at least 50 back to 0. And that's all there is to it. Since this doesn't rely on any absolute coordinates, I will leave all the commands and a dot schematic up for you guys to download so you can easily use this in your worlds. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. If you like the content and want to help me keep doing it, leave a like. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that so you can see my stuff as it comes out. That is all I have, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.